the New Mexico Lobos, a team that's been struggling as of late, but it feels like this might be a team that could surprise in the Mountain West. No, I'm not going to say that they're going to compete for a Mountain West title, but I think that they're going to definitely be far from the seller this year with the guys they have returning and a couple of some guys that they bring in this year. Number 10, nose tackle Ben Gonzalo. He had three tackles for loss. All three of them were sacks last year. A guy that can be disruptive above the middle on the defense, something that you'll need to make sure that the back end of the defense doesn't have to do most of the work. Number 9, linebacker Devin Sanders. He had 32 tackles last year. Another One of those guys on the back end who can clean up if, if necessary, but it's going to be the front four the front defensive line that we're going to talk about that's going to do most of the work and make life easier for him. Number eight, safety Tavian Combs, a guy who's very involved in the run game and also can go back in coverage, kind of that versatility that defensive coordinators really love to have. Number seven, wide receiver Andrew Erickson. He had 270 yards last year with two touchdowns, and it'll be interesting to see with a new quarterback running the show if that those numbers improve. Now, obviously, it was a shortened season for this team last year, just like everybody else. But I'm curious to see what the new guy is going to be able to do, who we'll talk about next. Number six is that quarterback, Terry Wilson, the Kentucky transfer. Is it known for his arm? More known for his legs. But if he can figure out a way to get some chemistry with Erickson and the rest of the passing game, this could be an offense that's going to be fun to watch. There's a lot of explosive offenses in the Mountain West and New Mexico could have maybe not one of the best but they'll definitely be better given that Wilson's athleticism is now on that offense. Number five safety Patrick Peak. not the best safety on this team if that gives you any hint of who we're going to talk about in a little bit but a guy who's going to make that give them one of the best duos on the backside of their defense. Number four, defensive end, Joey Noble. I mentioned the front line is going to be a big key, a big strength for New Mexico this year. A guy who had five and five tackles for loss and four sacks last year. He's going to battle with the guys on the other side of the ball in practice, and that's going to make both of them better. And the front line, the defensive line, is going to make life easier for those linebackers, like I said before. Number three, a guy who is going to have to block some of those defensive linemen in Kyle Stapley. 31 games of experience, a veteran that you would love to have paired with Terry Wilson. It'll be interesting to see how they gel this year. Number two, running back Bobby Cole. Last year he rushed for four, 548 yards and six touchdowns. This is a rushing attack with him and Terry Wilson that's going to be one of the best in the conference for sure, at least from a dual threat perspective with Wilson. And it's going to be fun to see what they can do with those two. And then finally, number one, the only first team Mountain West selection for New Mexico. Not that they're going to have a ton, but this was just interesting to see. Jarek Reed had four picks last year, very deserving of that first team all-conference selection. Can he elevate the rest of the defense to a level that they need to be. It seems like we named some guys on all three levels that can do that. It's just a matter of do they have the depth, do they have the overall talent to be competitive. New Mexico is a team that wasn't very good in the last couple of years. It seems like they've been living at the bottom of the Mountain West, but a team that can definitely take a step forward if they put everything together.